the Social Democrats. I shot the Russian shirt. Um, given the appalling behaviour of some of our banks and uh, stockbrokers over the past week or so, we really do need more time to deal with this, Minister. It's, it's not really acceptable that our time is cut so short uh, and it needs a, a huge amount more uh, examination and consideration and um, questioning. Um, I think most people are saying to themselves over the past few days, here we go again. Uh, a clear demonstration that there's one law for our financial institutions and another law for everybody else. And, um, you know, people feel very strongly that where there is wrongdoing like this, there has to be consequences. And yet again, we see that there are no serious consequences involved. Uh, this amounts to uh, white collar crime. Um, what we're talking about in the main in relation to uh, stockbrokers and uh, that rule in relation to there needing to be consequences for crime it applies particularly in relation to white collar crime and that's why the social democrats have long called for an independent anti-corruption agency to deal with the kind of activity that we've seen in, in Davies uh, that has come to light in, the, in recent days. Davies of course have form in relation to this, they were uh, involved, of course, in the sale of SiteServe. So we shouldn't be too surprised then in terms of what has, has emerged in recent days. I'm concentrating my uh, remarks on Davy, Minister, and I'm posing six questions to you. And I'd ask you, if you can, to answer those questions this evening. If not, I would ask you to uh, send a note on the responses if you're not in a position to provide all those replies. So I have six questions in respect of Davies. The first one is, Minister, what happened to the money that was made from the transaction involved? Uh, can you let us know uh, what happened to that? Secondly, in the Irish Times today, five of the principals concerned in this grubby uh, affair were named. Uh, but we know that there are 16 individuals concerned. Is it the intention to name all 16 publicly? And would you accept that the rest of the staff, the majority of the staff in Davie, uh, deserve that the, the, this will happen so that um, they're, they're not covered by this, um, the, the, the questions that arise in relation to who exactly is guilty for this wrongdoing? The third one is, what, in your view, Minister, uh, is the appropriate action now for the NTMA to take, uh, considering that Davies are the only Irish-owned uh, primary dealer of Irish bonds? Uh, and what should the N NTMA do in relation to its uh, involvement with, uh, with Davy in light of the appalling behaviour and the breach of trust by Davy? The fourth one is a number of senior uh, Davy staff, including the CEO, would be what are known as pre-approval uh, control function staff. They have to be authorised by the central bank to fulfil that role. So my question is, is the central bank satisfied that all of the PCF approved personnel in Davy continue to satisfy the bank's fit and proper standards? And I'm particularly interested to hear the answer to that question, Minister, either today or as soon as possible. Number five, did the activity that the Davy 16 engaged in constitute criminal activity in 2014? And does that activity currently constitute criminal activity? And my final question is, Davy run the Irish Stock Exchange. As Minister for Finance, uh, are you happy for that situation to continue? Thank you. Thank you. Minister. Um, uh, to thank the, um, the uh, deputy for the different questions that you've put to me there. Uh, I'm struck by what Deputy Shortall said when she said that nothing has changed. What has changed is that we have an independent regulator that um, has very strong powers at its disposal, a significant amount of resource, and views these issues very seriously, as evidenced by the statement they made yesterday. If you wanted to see a signal 
of a different approach to dealing with these matters. Sorry, last it is order. the statement that on was a, made by the Central order. Bank. No, sorry. sorry well, if it's I, a point posed, of order. Minister, I posed six questions. I did so briefly. With Thank respect, you. I think oh, you no, have an well, obligation well, 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 to a, answer those six questions. Far from me to decide whether that's a point of order or not, and the last count caller might give her ruling on it. I was going to answer the questions. I am answering the questions. And before you decide, Deputy Shortall, if I've answered them or not, allow me to answer, the, allow me to conclude what I was saying, because it's really important. You bemoan the lack of an independent regulator, I think, on the basis of what you said. And then you propose to ask me a set of questions that are highly detailed, legally sensitive, which only the regulator can answer. Do you appreciate that as Minister for Finance, I should not have the information to those questions, some of those questions that you've put to me? That's why we have a regulator. You're asking me questions about what has happened to money the deputy asked me to name people. That is why we have a regulator. It is up to the regulator to do this work. And the thrust of Deputy Shortall's questions, while on the surface of them, they are serious. They don't recognise, and I know the deputy knows this, the fact that much of her questions that she's put to me sit with the regulator to answer, not with me. And if Deputy Shortall does want, and I believe she does, a strong, independent, non-political manner to how sensitive legal issues are dealt with, then she knows they are questions that the central bank answer, not me as Minister for Finance. Uh, the central bank, I believe, will be in front of the Oireachtas Committee. Deputy Shortall will have an opportunity to put an answer, uh, to put a, a question her in some of those matters, though I imagine they'll also be bound by law. And I just want to emphasise again what I've said on a number of occasions in this Doyle Thank you, Minister. and outside of the Doyle Thank you, Minister. that what ha happened, what the central bank Thank you, had Minister. detailed, I'm on. Thank falls very, you. very, very far short of the standards we clearly Thank expect, you, and that is recognised by what the Central I'm Bank has done. On.